Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, November 14th, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here that price continues to remain within the narrow range that has continued to develop over the last nearly 10 days now. This is the ninth day in this range here. It's modestly pushing higher, but for the most part, staying in a range that's very compressed and compact. Again, this market is holding above the previous month's high and uh, at all-time highs. And again, just kind of sitting up here right now, building out a little bit of acceptance above these levels here. But again, this market remains extremely bullish. Any pullback, even if it's a near-term pullback or even a broader pullback here, could lead to a nice buying opportunity and a continuation. However, if price fails to hold 30 50 that could be the point there where we start to see this thing rotate back down. So again, this thing is sideways, continue to see more sideways, uh, likely to continue to see more sideways action until proven otherwise here. And then as soon as we do see expansion, we could be looking at a pretty decent move here. If we put this up here to a nine day, right here, it'll quantify this for us and you'll see that we're at 48% of normal range for these nine days. We are trading just 39 points of range when a nine day average is typically over 75. This means that if we do break out from this range at some point, we can go about 97 to 100 points, easily 100 handles of range. It's going to look very similar to what we saw here recently where we had this compression right here, and then we saw the expansion here, and this is the expansion, and then we hit the red dot, turn blue. Same type of thing is going to happen here at some point. And it's likely going to be to the upside until it proves otherwise because this market remains bullish and uh, and we got to continue to go in the path of the least resistance here and that's to the upside at the moment. If we take a look here at the NQ, very similar price action. And remember, the market here is also awaiting day two of Fed Chair Powell's testimony. We also have crude oil inventories later on today uh, and several FOMC members speaking today uh, aside from Powell himself but right now again very bullish here this market is waiting perhaps it's waiting for day two to finish here of testimony we see some expansion perhaps soon but at some point here again when we do see a breakout from this range we're expecting about 355 points of range maybe up to 400 so between 350 and 400 points of range again this is the blueprint here, very tightly compressed price action. When we do see the expansion, it gets us right to that upper red dot. This expansion started with a failed new low, and then from that pivot low, you could start to mark it higher, uh, about 400 points, and that's exactly what we did here. We're looking for the same type of price action here. Your blueprint happened just recently here, right there, and we're going to see if it can happen again. Do we get another strong failed low like this that triggers another continuation? If so, that could push us uh, another 400 handles higher. So from this low, call it 81.75 or 82.00, we could be looking at a move into somewhere between 81.50, 82.00, or sorry, uh, the 80.600, 85.50 level. So that's the zone right there. Okay, let's take a look now at crude oil. You'll see here with crude oil, this one has also been in a very narrow range as well. All three markets compressed in a nine day range. This is very rare here. Uh, this happens ahead of holiday trading. This happens ahead of the market anticipating some news or event or awaiting some sort of something and that's kind of what's happening right now. Day two of impeachment as well uh, which will likely go into next week. So again we have lots of different things that the market could be waiting on but as soon as we do see expansion again look how many points of movement we could see something about 4.75 points that's a pretty big move just to get four points above 58 would take you to 62 62.75 would take you to that high that CLVN at 62.70 in recent high so that right there is the measurement if we were to break out from here again this one could still kinda of pull back hard and then yank higher so we could be marking 4.75 handles from the 55s in that case we'd be going somewhere to about the 6175 zone right here so or 60 zone rather so that's the area that we could get into depending on how the market tries to break out of this range again very compressed price action over the last nine days 
and at some point here again we should be looking for some sort of expansion that leads us four to five handles uh, of range uh, okay let's take a look lastly at gold futures with gold futures here this one sold off pretty tremendous here here to start the month it is pulling back now I mentioned before on this day right here we had it on our buy watch list in the trading room here uh, lower boundary of this downward sloping channel here and a bounce back toward 1500 to 1520 could be seen the one thing here I mentioned also to keep an eye on though is this zone where we're at right now basically the 1465 zone there into the eight period average because this is a zone where it could still reject those prices and then drop downward in a lower high and continuation from this breakdown so this is the spot right here where bears would look to defend if it can't stay above 1470 and starts to break back below the 1465s that could start to tell uh, quite a bit about what the future direction is because that could turn into a quick lower high and a continuation if price can stay above 1465 get through 1470 that starts to open the door to a rotation back toward 1500 to 1510 all right that is it for now we'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trading room take care